Hi, I'm Victor Love, an application engineer for Schweitzer Engineering Laboratories. I recently had the opportunity to visit our customer's job site and retrofit his existing A-based socket meter and replace that with an SEL 735 meter. We performed this retrofit demonstration in an actual customer's meter shop, much like a shop that you would have today. So take a look. We begin by removing the test switch cover, opening our test switches here to isolate the meter from your actual service. Next, we'll uh, remove our cover over our secondary connections. There we go. Now we're gonna take our, our nut driver here and we're gonna remove our connections on the top of the meter test switch. Now in most cases, you wanna mark your conductors before taking these loose. Uh, your company may have a special co color code. We can do that for you as well. Next, we're gonna remove our I.O. cable for our communications. Then we're gonna take our screwdriver and we're gonna remove our three set screws here to hold the meter in place. So, uh, we're almost ready to install our SEL 735. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove this outer bracket here, is our first mounting bracket, and uh, get that installed on the, on the board that we see back here. Now you wanna make sure that you have plenty of clearance between your test switch and your top of your panel to make a nice attractive appearance. You wanna make sure that your, your brackets here is plumb and level and straight. And that looks good right there. So I'll attach this uh, self-tapping wood screw. We're gonna install our second screw in our other, up the other end of our mounting bracket and tighten that up. Now we're gonna simply install our 735 meter. We're gonna do this by attaching two mounting screws here. Now we have our SEL 735 attached to the panel. We're gonna install two more screws for mounting on the opposite side. Now as you can see, we have our SEL 735 properly mounted on our panel. We can take our two screws loose on the opposing side and simply swing the 735 out of the way to make our connections on the back of the panel if we need to. Now at this point, I'm gonna attach all the conductors to the meter test switch. I'll be able to close that test switch, move the meter around to the side, connect my communication cables, and I'm done. As you can see, I've completely retrofitted an existing A-based socket meter installation using the new SEL 735 mounting solutions in just under 15 minutes. So let SEL help you with your metering retrofit application. And thanks for watching.